Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, we're changing over the we're changing over this little baby, the flow regulator. So she drops down to 20 psi, it will click in, gets up to 40 psi, it clicks out. So that's okay. Also, I've got um, two gauges as well. One gauge for this, and because you can see here, she's pretty, she's pretty ugly, mate. She's ugly as my ex-wife, mate. Ugly, ugly. Now the way that this this system here works is that it comes from your pump through here and up to here. Now this goes into your household, and this one goes into your tank. So when it's turned on, when it pumps up and it gets to 40 psi, it will shut off. And then the water from your tank will come down and feed your household. So there's no one lead. The old days was this went directly into the tank. Then you had another one coming out. You don't have to do that with these type. But um, I'm still on the old school. So what we're going to do is replace this one down. And um, like I said, she's a bit tethered, guys. She's a little bit tethered. What is tethered? Tethered? It's fucked Ted. It's fucked it's it's fucketed. Take that all you trolls. A new word for you. Fucketed. Right, so that will go well. And like I said, this is the second one here I have to replace as well. It's this little baby here. So all things going equal. And if the moons are all lining up together and Venus is up, Venus is on her anus. <laughs> Let's see. Right, so while while this is happening, we've still got full water to the house. The reason being is the 12 volt system was originally came in here and went to the washing machine for rainwater to the washing machine. It was original and I just broke into it up here and fed it back into the inlet side here. So this is the tank here and this is the 12 volt here. All right, so I turn this one off now. We'll go back to 12 for check. So I've drained this to what I need. So now if they turn on the tap inside, the 12 volt under pressure will come on and we've got water. So it doesn't matter. If we're in a brownout, we can still operate quite well. So think about your system, guys. When you build, if you build your farm and you have to say, right, I want a backup water supply because there's so many brownouts here. Okay, brownouts, blackouts, whatever you want. It is, have your backup system. Little 12 volt system, little panel, battery. And I'll tell you, it really helps you out. You can always flush the toilet or have a shower in a brownout. Trust me, it works. Right, let's get into this. Right, so we got the old bugger off. Got the new bugger going on now. Is it, um, they last a few years, guys, so they're not too bad. They're not too bad at all. So this is your uh, 2040 adjustment here. Is this one, and this one's your if you want to add a little extra, so that's set for 2040, but if I want to make that say 45, then I'll just screw this one up a little bit tighter. That's how easy it is. And there's a little tool I'll show you that you can get for that. Very easy, guys. Very, very easy. Right, guys, so it's lunchtime. Chicks call us, we've got to go. So we changed the top one over, done. This is all ready to be installed. And um, I'm very, very happy. Um, David Greenslade sent us some boxes of different washers look at that look at that and this one here and it's the same size as what we need how good is that dave thank you very much for sending us this my friend shirt can quickly as much as on it chick's gonna go ape shit look at this guys look at that look at that right look at that i tell you this is getting us out of a lot of trouble little things that you know if you want a little o-ring you have to go into town to get and we went in there with a big german and end up they put it in i said this is it but when we come home it wasn't so they tricked us so um thank you very much dave for that sitting there over when you sent the parcel and there's also the o-ring one as well so thank you very much dave really appreciate it we're putting it to use right now okay let's go and have lunch and come back okay. Hey guys, we're back. It's after lunch and it's all installed. Look at that. Look at that. We've got a little drop down here and we tried, um, took it back off again, put some more Harry's tape on it. Or Fred's tape, whatever tape you want to call it. But we still got that little bit of a dip dip. 
So we're just trying to find something else we can put on it. But apart from that, it's quite good. So she all turned on okay, and she went up to 50. Went up to 50. Normally it's 40 and 20. So I don't know what this is going to drop down to, but I've got to go out herding now, so I'll keep an eye on it when we come back. But overall, overall, it's pretty well good done. Yeah, we can adjust that long stem. Yeah. So um, what we'll do, we'll just see what at the moment looks like 50, but we'll let it settle a bit because we've drained a lot of water out. Now these have water up to here, and this is your air. This is your compression here, because water can't compress on the air. So that will actually fill up and compress. And here we go, on now. It's on 50, shutting off at 50, so I don't know what we can. We got a special tool, we brought a special tool, guys, for that. So we'll just let it settle for a bit because all this air and water and all that stuff and everything being equal and the world being round and the moon's lining up, and we'll see how we go. So, overall, good job. Thank you very much, Martin. Good job. So, we're very pleased. So, that's another job. Kaching! Thank you, Mr. Kaching. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go goat herding. I'll catch you all later on.